Hello, gentles and ladymen, I'm Ulan the Bison. Did you know that the Llama Inca starts out with is actually worth two settlers worth of gathering power? Inca, just like all the other native civilizations, has the community plaza and has various unique dances. One of these is called the Moon Ceremony, which produces wood. Now, this is generally not a very widely used dance, as it really does not generate very much wood per, per unit on the plaza. And as such, even when Inca came out, this was never really widely used. However, long time ago, about a year and a half ago, in one of the patch notes, the moon ceremony was moved to age two. Now, nobody really thought much of this, but there were a couple people who may have noticed something particularly special about the moon dance, because the moon dance is not like any other dance in the game. Take the XP dance, for example. The XP dance starts at a baseline of zero, and then for every settler that works on it, you get roughly half an XP per second. Uh, so with one warrior priest that Aztec starts out with, they get one XP per second, since the warrior priest is worth two settlers. But that is where the llama is a little bit different, because the llama is only worth 25% of a settler, meaning it takes eight llamas to equivalent to one Aztec warrior priest, which seems pretty bad. It also makes it seem like Inca's unique ability to have llamas dance on the plaza is not very worthwhile, but that is where you are wrong, because as I mentioned before, the moon ceremony is particularly special, because unlike any other dance in the game that I'm aware of, the moon ceremony starts at a base of one wood per second as long as you have anything dancing on it at all, and then the work rate for that unit is added on top of that, which means that you actually get the highest value out of the moon dance when you have very, very few things working on the plaza. Granted, it doesn't create a high wood per second rate, it just makes a high value rate for investment. The community plaza only costs 100 wood, and now the moon dance is available right from the second age, and putting the llama on it, the weakest plaza worker in existence is still good enough to trigger the baseline of one wood per second. Adding the llama on top of it, you get 1.05 wood per second, and now your one llama is worth two settlers for the cost of 100 wood. So don't kill your llama, and this indeed proves why the llama in particular is the superior herdable animal. P.S. This Team 2 Llama shipment is actually super good because they in each come with an extra 350 food. So it's like a Team 700 food shipment and nobody ever sends it for some reason, even though it's available in H2. Okay, bye.